Hey everybody, Susie Q here and welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. Today I want to check out my floating aquatic baskets that I made last year. I did a DIY, and I'll put the link up here, to making some very creative aquatic floating baskets. They were a blast to make. They worked really good last year, but let's see if they held up for the whole year and if I can still use them this year. And I'm going to make a couple more, a little bit easier ones. So let's go float some baskets. So let's see how my baskets held up from last year first. So I've got this one I used with gardening thread and it was a, a craft ring. The craft ring broke, but it will still float. Why do I look all washed out? I am so challenged when it comes to this camera and settings. I was going to go out on a limb and do some manual camera work. Well, somehow or another, I messed up some settings that I just couldn't fix, even by putting it back on automatic. So a whole lot of the footage didn't work out, but that's okay. I'm going to explain what I did and show you clips from that, and you'll see. Everything's kind of bright white. A hula hoop with weighted rock. A pool noodle with sewed. So all of these, and then I have another hula hoop that I'm going to weigh down with probably a plant. This one has the uh, already pre-made plastic basket. And I put pool noodles on. And the pool noodle was bright blue. I covered it in lawn material, zip tied it. It was a lot of work. This year, not so labor intensive. What do you see? I'm getting it down to a science and I really, really like it. And because I'm growing some aquaponics lettuce because my tortoises love lettuce. And look at how many roots I've got already. This is great and it's just sitting in clay pebbles, clay pellets and pebbles. And it is doing amazing with the fish water. Absolutely amazing. So this is gonna go in here. And I'm going to put this in a pond. Then I'm going to do the floating basket with some of these water lettuces thrown in there. I've got to pot up this canna lily. And I'm going to show you how I pot it up so that all my aquatic media, aquatic medium doesn't go all over the place. So what I'm using is I'm using this pond aquatic media, which is perfect. But so sometimes this is very small and it seeps right through the basket. So this year, I'm gonna use two different methods. Since I don't really use, I don't, use, I, get, I don't get newspapers anymore. So I'm gonna use this piece of paper that I have that was left over that came in a shipping box and just line the edges. The other thing I'm gonna do is take some of this garden cloth and go around the edges just enough so that the water can come in the benefits of the roots can take hold, but the media doesn't go all over the place. Not that it would be a bad thing, but I would rather keep the media in the pot. We're going to use this one from last year as well. And I'm going to put this canna lily in over here. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. There's new growth in here. It'll work out well too. It was pretty root bound, so. And I think around this one I'm going to put a floating lettuce. So I'm going to put some rocks in to keep it. Really like this idea with the, the flower and the plant and the lettuce. Let me show you one of my favorite things about these floating lettuces. You can see that the koi are getting some nibbles in and the fill of the turtles. It's like floating dinner for them. So I think the ones that I made last year held up very well. I just have to make some more, that's all. This held up very good. This is my hula, weighted down hula hoop. Now I'm gonna throw some of the uh, water hyacinths and lettuce in there. Now I'm gonna have to look, but last year somebody put a comment, why don't you just put a hula hoop in front of your skimmer? That way nothing can get in about water. So I thought that's a great idea. So I'm gonna weight this down. So this is in front of my skimmer. So water will flow 
but not my floating plants. So I got to look at my comments from last year's video to see who made that comment because that was a great suggestion. Thank you. So now that I've got some rocks in the basket, I'm going to go see if I can get this pretty close to the skimmer so it'll float. That worked great. I'm going to get some water hyacinths. Beautiful. So what I'm going to do this year is make something similar to this one I made last year. Now the ones that I made last year were really good and as you can tell they held up amazing. But I want to make some new ones and right now because I'm moving my reptile room around I don't quite have access to get to my sewing machine. So I found some black pool noodles, zip ties, because what's a project without zip ties? Right? One fish, two fish, ROC. Got my zip ties. Some aquatic baskets. I think these baskets cost me three or four dollars. And the pool noodles I found and I got them on Amazon. I have an Amazon link that's from my Amazon store. So I give you the heads up if you click on this link and get some of these noodles i will make some pennies off of that so we got some baskets we got some pool noodles and zip ties and some pond media i like this pond media because it's really just little pieces of clay let's start making some new ones i found black pool noodles basket and zip ties so i'm thinking this will be super easy super fast and it'll work and I won't have to cover this because it'll already be black. So let's go make some plant baskets. So what I'm going to do is put the pool noodle, I'm gonna cut it in, into the right size, slice it up, zip tie it to the edge. Let's get that done first. And it's real easy because you could tell I don't do this as an exact science whatsoever. So now I'm gonna cut up the middle. And a lot of these, what I'm gonna do these are going to be aquaponics so i cannot wait i've got a lot of lettuces because as you know if you don't know you should check out my uh turtle fun video i've got three horsefeldi tortoises two sulcata tortoises and one cherry head tortoise and they all love lettuce i've got bearded dragons they all love all the different variety of lettuce so so now that i've opened this up i'm just gonna wrap it on to each one and when you tie some of these together you make a floating island and I'm going to do the zip ties and if you do it right you don't have to cut off the zip ties because they're inside there we go so what you want to do is when you're putting them through the basket you want to make sure you get, don't get too close to the end there we go so now I can either use the cloth if you have newspaper use newspaper I don't have any newspaper you see that and we're going to take this canna lily and there's actually two canna lilies in here I could split them up which is what I'm going to do put them each in your own pond oh, these are going to be beautiful now a lot of times what I do is what I do is what I do is I have some like uh, floating around creeping jenny that fell apart I'm just going to take some of those and grow it over the side. See like this? And I love this fruit in general. And here we go. And now I'm going to rinse and repeat. I'm actually going to make some more now for some a combination of different plants. Is since I don't have any media, I'm going to put some of my marginals in here just in their pots and when I get more media I'll pop them up so this one is Mazus Reptin okay I'm going to use some material to try to lift it up a little bit until I get my media oh yeah that looks good and then I have which is actually already in, in, in uh, potted up 
That's great. Well, how great does that look? I really like it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And you tell me which ones you like better. The ones I made last year? Or the cheap and easy ones I made this year? So I think they held up really well. And I love the new ones also. I'd love to hear what kind of baskets you float in your pond. So let me know in the comments below if you actually even float baskets. A lot of people just plant their plants right in the pond, right in the bottom, right in the shelving. I'd love to hear how you do it. Thanks everybody and I will see you next time.